vaccinations. They can't force you, so they have to coerce you. And that's where consent comes in. Whatever your view is about this COVID-19 pandemic, what seems clear to me is that there's a desire for a vaccination program to counter the spread of this disease. You would have heard them talking about vaccines since before the enforced curfew. Now they're talking about mandated vaccine certificates to enable you to leave the house, return to work, go out in public, even travel abroad. Now listen to this carefully. Listen with your full attention. Recently, they passed laws ordering people to stay at home and impose fines for those failing to do so. They passed laws to say anyone can be registered as a nurse, doctor or pharmacist. They passed other ridiculous laws that I've mentioned before. But what law have they not passed? What law hasn't been enacted? A law to say vaccination is mandatory. You see, they have never, to my knowledge, passed a law for mandatory vaccination. Go back in, in recent history. With every outbreak of disease, whenever they want to introduce a vaccination program, the same two features are apparent in every single scenario. The most important aspect for you to understand is that there is never a law for mandatory vaccination of the population. It's never happened. But the two features are a massive media campaign over the particular issue with stories of the number of deaths, how it affects the vulnerable and how people can protect themselves or their children by being vaccinated. The second feature is that these media campaigns are designed to instill fear into the individual either for their well-being or that of a child or loved one. The object of these media campaigns and the rolling out of medical experts, health experts, professors, etc. in the media is to manipulate or coerce people into consenting to being vaccinated. They need people to voluntarily consent to be vaccinated. And whether the consent is born out of fear, worry, anxiety or any other fear-based emotion, that doesn't matter. Whether people feel under emotional pressure, have been misinformed or not informed about what actually is contained in any vaccine, that's all irrelevant because the plan, the objective is to get their consent. As adults, you should already be aware that you give your consent to medical procedures or dental procedures. And as adults, you give your consent for medical procedures, injections or vaccinations for your children. And you already know that without your consent, no medical or dental treatment or vaccination can be administered. Because your consent is an absolute and fundamental requirement. It cannot and has not been overridden by any law. And because they cannot write into law for mandatory vaccination of the entire population, they must search for a way to get you to say that you consent. And this is why, to a large degree, this curfew has been implemented and will, of this day, be extended because they need to get people so discombobulated that they will agree to be vaccinated. No vaccine, house quarantine. Thank you for listening. Please share and subscribe. More videos coming soon.